everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dawn and this is a car boot sale haul. Um, you may realise I haven't got my little sidekick with me, my partner Dave. Unfortunately he's really ill at the moment, he's got a bad chest infection, has been up in bed for quite a few days now. They went away on Wednesday night to our caravan for fishing and he came back Thursday and Friday, he started feeling really ill. Um, you may have seen he didn't look very good on the Sunday um, car boot sale video. Unfortunately, he's got, like I said, a bad chest. I'm hoping I'm not getting it because I woke up this morning with a bad sore throat. And if I do, it usually means I pass it back to him when he gets better. And we need him better because it's his birthday on Saturday. And my son has organised for me and his dad to be on the guest list at his workplace. If you're new to my channel, you wouldn't know this. But my son works for Adrian Flux Arena in Norfolk. He is the man in the control room. He does the scoreboard. And he also does the music sometimes. And if they have any technical problems, he always helps them out. Um, so for part of Dave's birthday treat from our son, he got us to go banger racing on Saturday, which is Dave's favourite, favourite one because it is um, Formula One and it's Dave's favourite racing. So we really need him to get better, like really need to get better. But Dave's one of these men that gets it and he gets it bad and it takes him a while to actually um, get better. So it does take him longer. So we really hope and pray that he gets better. So I don't know if he'll be doing a haul from his car boots out this week um, but he will be back I promise you guys he will be back because I know a few of you guys love seeing him um, and we love we love having him on here don't we guys so yeah he is unfortunately not well so he just got little on me and I'm going to show you my haul that I've got um, we went to three car boot sales virtually really close to our house so that was handy um, and I bought from all three, so I'm going to get my bits together and show you what I got. So the first car boot sale we went to is virtually just two minutes away from where we live by car. Perhaps a five minute walk if you want to, um, if you want to walk there, but you usually take the car anyway. So the first store I went to, you guys have probably heard me say her name before, she's called Nan. She's an elderly lady who absolutely loves doing car boot sales. Um, I think she does it because she enjoys doing it. She don't make much money because she really does dish things out really cheap. Um, I always go there straight away. She's a lovely lady. I take her bags as well. She always needs bags. And I said to her um, this Sunday that I've got some bags for her. So when I next go to see her, I shall make sure I take them because I keep forgetting. But anyway, so I did buy a few bits from her first before I went to any other store. I picked up two things. One of them is a one I have to say and that was this blue Devon jug um, it's chipped <laughs> I didn't even notice it it's chipped it's cracked so that is going to go in the bin because it's no good would make a nice um, flower arrangement though if you have it that way that's quite cute but I don't don't want that so and I picked up this jumper which is Traders Jeans Company size large I really really like this I love selling jumpers, it does need bobbling. Oh look, there's a little dust coming off it as well. Yeah, it does need bobbling. Um, but we got my faithful little bobbler. Um, I basically paid 50p for the pair. So even though I'm throwing that away, I only paid 50p for that. Um, once I've sorted it out and debubbled it and everything, I will try and get eight pounds or something for it. Because I love it, it reminds me of the 80s. <laughs> Like something my nan would have knitted me. Um, she used to love knitting us, matching outfits, me and my sister and everything. So, but yeah, I really like that. So, it was a bit of a downer with that, but it's only 50p, so I'm not worried about that. Then I went and walked around, and then I saw. Sorry, I have to keep moving. But... Hang on, let's pour. Right, so I checked this other store that I sometimes look at anyway. They're again also quite good on their prices, and uh, they did have American number plates for my son. They were like three quid each, but I refused to buy that because they were really rusty. They weren't very good. 
if you're new to my channel you wouldn't know this but my son is american mad and like his room is full of american stuff um i have put it on here a few times um but yeah we always buy him something with american every year he also has an american hamper made for him each christmas but yeah he's obsessed with america um, and one day would hope to get there so hopefully he will um, but I just decided not to buy them but I did look a bit further on their stall and I found some Playmobil now Playmobil is a hit and miss for most people I know some people like it some people don't but I love selling it I love selling Playmobil I will bundle a lot of this up anyway and there's vintage Playmobil as well in here which I was really really excited about so I bought this first bag. I bought all the Playmobil, by the way, off their stall. I got so excited. I was like a big kid. Um, so I did grab all of them. So I got this bag for a pound. You've got some pirate girls in there. You've got a princess in there. Um, and she's got... Actually, she's from 1998. And she's got everything. I'll just quickly show you. She's got a hair. She's got a fan. She's got all, all her gems around her neck. So I was really pleased with that. Then you've got a um, pirate. So yeah, I was really pleased with that. That's one pound. Then I've got another pound bag, which is the animals. So again, I will bundle them with them. And so you've got the horses for the night and what's not. What I don't use, I'll keep. And then I saw this other bag which was 50p and I looked in there and I did see this guy which yes he's broken but it don't matter because I can bundle them with others but there's bits in there like you see this bit here goes with one of my figures so I had to pick that up um, I'll probably, ooh, dropped them I probably will keep these as well because I know if you get a few of these you can sell them I think they're called go-go's or something are they go-go's? I'm not sure. I have to look them up a bit more, but... Oh, yeah, there's something on the back there. Oh, let's see. Can you see? But, yeah, I'll probably keep them in there. So that was 2 50 for that. Estimation could be varied. Um, I will definitely, like, split them up and try and make at least a fiver on top, perhaps. I don't know. You never know. You never know. So, next door was um, this bloke that we know. Again, he's the number one who tries to sell anything on the cheap. Gets, tries to get rid. He likes to make money and he likes to give it up cheap, apparently. So, I, I'm a sucker for this. But I have just sold my um, pheasant tapestry recently. I will insert a picture just here for you. Um, so I'm obsessed with selling this stuff. I think you should come out of your comfort zone. Not everyone's going to want it, but I do try and sell them. And I picked these up for 50p for the pair that I've got them on at the moment for a fiver. Um, they're already framed in these plastic wooden like frames. But I think that one's probably my favourite. Because it reminds me of the lighthouse here in Norfolk that we live near. And then we got a nice ship. But I love selling tapestry at the moment. Um, I used to sell it a long time ago. And then I got back into it again. So yeah love 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 and also on this bloke's thing he had some material in a bag and he said just take the bag for 50p and i went i'm in a hurry and i thought all right i will i'm really really pleased because there's a lot here <laughs> massive i've got to measure it yet yeah. i'm going to put this on for a tenner auction and see if it'll go up because i know material can be very expensive this is the 2002 um hang on i'll try again piano cartridge a clovax and floor design if you can see that um there is one on there someone's got like 40 quid or something on it but i'm going to start that at 10 pounds there's there were also this obviously the you know blacking fabric for it as well but i'm going to probably keep this myself or i might sell it i don't know I mean, I want to make a curtain for my bathroom, so I might do that. And there was also the matching thread, so that was a bit of a bonus, wasn't it? Right, last but least is I went back to Nan's 
thing just in case you put anything else out because she was still doing and I found some jumpers which I'm really excited about because I love selling Christmas jumpers yes it's a bit early but it's never too early to buy um, this one's from George Merry Christmas 2XL and it's jingling. it's an elf jumper with a hoodie how cute is that I was tempted to keep it myself but I think I may not this one I was gonna sell as well this is by George as well casual outfitters this is a humbug one polar bear one which I think is really cute and then this one is Deminence jumper this thing isn't a Christmas one but I had to pick it up and that was cute as well and I'm gonna try and sell that one and I paid a pound for the three. So the next car boot sale we went to was at a school. You had to pay 50p to get in there. I know, I feel like it's getting more expensive getting in this school to go to that one. But I did get a few little bits from it. Not as much as what Dave did, but I did get a few bits. Um, I got this because I am obsessed with stacks. I love anything to do with countryside and I had to get it. So. It's got foxes. This is for me. I forgot to mention that. I do pick up a few things for myself. You've got your hairs, you've got your stags. This is gonna go in my kitchen. And what this woman, it was a candle. Just to prove it was, it was a candle. But she uses it for them, which I thought was a good idea because I have oil burners, a couple of them around in my house. And I'm always, I usually put these in a parcel bag so I'm quite excited to put this in the kitchen with the stag face and meat, of course. And um, use that for my candles. So I'm really, really excited. I paid 70p for that. I thought it was a bargain because it's a nice little storage unit thing. Um, it does need a bit of clean because it's got a bit down it. But we're okay now, that'd be fine. Then I picked these up for free. Yeah, they've sold things like this before. So I'm gonna have a little go at selling them. It does have a bit of paint, so I will get that off, but for free, you can't complain, can you? I might try Fiverr for the pair. Um, some people love them, I don't know why, but they do, not my cup of tea. Then I got a bag of vintage toys. I'm obsessed with vintage toys, so I paid a pound for all this. There's only three items in there. I need cleaning. It came out of this bloke's garage. Um, we got a... My first buddy's player piano. Oh, is it there? Yeah. Oh, so cute. And these, if you watch, go around. Um, clean it up. I might get five or four. You never know. So I might fall in love with it like I do. I did not know this was there, so I was very excited about that. Now I'll probably put these two together. So we've got a Fisher Price phone. I know they're not worth much. So I've got a Fisher Price phone from 1961. That is well old. <laughs> That's older than me. Uh, 1961 Fisher Price. Now I don't think they sell very well, but I'll have a look. I'll have a look. But if it doesn't, then I will put it with this one, which is a musical pop-up phone. Unfortunately, the label is. A little bit worn it's from 1987 now it's meant to have batteries in which means I don't know I'm hoping I haven't leaked it now or whatever but we'll soon see but apparently what happens is and it's meant to pop up and sing or something I don't know but it's by Shellcore so yeah that was from that car boot sale um, this that one's usually just like once every couple of months things like that so they don't have one every week unlike Gaywood and Knights Hill and this one's just like once every so often so yeah that's that one hey guys last but least is Knights Hill and I bought a few items from there the first thing I grabbed up was the first actually store that I was at and this is the E45 cream I have dermatitis I always need this kind of cream, so I was really, really pleased. The woman said she's never used it, but unfortunately someone had pressed it when they were at their store, so it was all everywhere. But Dave also uses this as well, so it's handy for him. And we only paid a pound. 
I'm so pleased because these are really expensive in the shops. I mean, I love saving money on things like that. Next was a bloke that we've seen a few times up there now. Um, he's not going to be there next week, he's already told us. But he buys stuff from the auctions and he resells it. He don't usually buy it, he says he only goes there and has a cup of tea. But then he gets, you know, if people don't want the stuff, he wants to buy it all up. We're happy about that. So I bought a load of stuff, a couple, or not a load of stuff, four items in total for a pound. Because that's what he likes to do with us. I bought these um, sweet corn trays with the sweet corn things handles or whatever you call them I didn't know they were that and then I found them on eBay so I was like oh that's what they were fortunately I've just found there's a chip here but I might still sell it and then just say there is a slight chip there because I think three will be better than two but I'm hoping for a five for them I didn't pay much for them so it's not I'm not too worried and then I've got these two cute jugs German jugs um, they're not worth as much as I thought they would be and I'm gutted he had two little cups that went with them and I left them there and I didn't know they went with them because they look just like them um, but again I might try five for the pair just see someone might want them I don't know then I got I'm a sucker for shells I don't know why so I picked these shells up in the packet four in total I think I might wait until I get some other shells make a bundle up and try and sell them like that because they're not really worth much on their own and then we quickly walked to another stall and these people were dishing stuff out really really cheap now they spotted these because he knows I love bitches potter bitches potter coasters oh my god so we've got that one we've got two of the same actually these two and then that one <gasps> and we paid 50p for that set and then I saw this on there as well and it says if you can dream it you can do it I love things like this because I'm a believer in things like this. Not only is it heart, but it's the words as well. And that will be going in on our bedroom wall probably because I'm making a gallery on there. Um, so that would be a nice little piece. And they brought me that. And that was only 20p. And I fell in love with it straight away. So yeah, that is my car boot sale haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you liked best out of my haul. I think mine has to be the Playmobil and of course the pot with the stagging because I love stags and deers. They're my favourite creature of all time. Um, and comment down below your best bargain of the week as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notifications if you want to be notified to when i upload videos i cannot tell you when i upload videos because it varies it you know this was meant to be on sunday it's now wednesday so you never know when i'm going to pop up on my channel um don't forget to give us a huge like because it helps the channel very very much and also check me out on instagram which is just I think it's in this corner as well um yep so that is it i will see you very very soon for another video guys hopefully dave will be much better when saturday comes around and i will see you very very soon bye